Hey everybody, welcome to a dual commentary of a VGT League series. This is Chosen. And this is Butterfly. Chosen, why don't you go ahead and give us the matchup and positions. Yep, down here in the bottom right position, playing the yellow Protoss is Mafia Cheese. And his opponent up here in the middle right position, playing the red Zerg, is Mimetic ZT. And the reason we're bringing you this series is because this is on the Brood War ladder, which we haven't done a whole lot of the Brood War ladder. And Cheese is one of the better and most known Brood War 1 vs. 1ers. So we really wanted to cast some of his games and see how he plays here. And I played a lot of Brood War myself, and I've always liked it more than regular StarCraft. But for fastest, I mean, original is pretty good. Well, I mean, in my opinion, it, uh, SC is better for 1 vs. 1, but Brood War is better for 2 vs. 2 because it gives Zerg a little bit better chance on Brood War. But Those lurkers. <laughs> the reason I don't like 1 vs. 1 on Brood War is because of the lurker swarm, which a lot of people think that, and it's probably a big reason on why most of the high-level fastest competition takes place on SC because you get that lurker swarm right here at the choke, and it just makes like a two-hour game sometimes. Definitely. So yeah, we just uh, cheese. I actually really like his style because he plays really aggressive and he's got really good micro. He's a micro player. I, I really love those type of low money style players. They're really fun to watch, like Cheese and who are a couple others, Gentriki, Marine, a couple of those guys that are low money style and just aggressive and heavy on the micro. Oh, and look at Cheese doing a little dancing. dancing. He's waiting for the <laughs> minerals for the gateway to come up. And this is actually our first time seeing these games. Uh, we, these aren't live, uh, but we haven't seen them. We're just casting them at, right as we downloaded them. So we don't know what's going to happen, what build these guys are going to do. We're just going to go ahead and get it started with the commentary. And it looks like Mimetic doing a pretty standard Zerg Real opening standard. here. Yeah, just going for that normal choke and then one more hatch. And then he'll probably send a drone up here to get a sunk in. And she's actually doing a little bit less standard. He's going for the four gateway opening. Usually you'll see Protoss either mid-build rush or go for the Nexus. I'm surprised yet Boucher hasn't actually scouted yet. I know he likes to play real aggressive. And he saw some Dunny, but... I mean, he's going to be pushing out here soon as that Yeah, I don't think... Cheese actually not scouting with a probe, so that's interesting. He must really want to save his economy and keep that probe in his base for the extra minerals, and then he scouts with his first two Zealots. Let's go to the Zerg Choke here, see how far that's... Okay, he's putting up the one sunken... Yeah, and this is going to be now. trouble because the Zerg doesn't... He hasn't been scouted yet, so he thinks he's safe from a rush, but he's actually going to be up against a rush. So once Cheese see this... He's yeah, going to see it right here. Is he going to run by and go for the drones, or is he going to go for the choke? Uh, definitely. Well, it looks like he's been committed to go for the choke here. He's going to try to take out this sunken. He's going to put the... Zerg's going to need to reinforce his choke. Yeah, because there's three more Zelots coming that I see on the minimap. Yep. But it looks like it's going to be pretty close. Cheese might want to try a run by here. No, I see but he's yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, he, yeah, he got to stick to it. Yeah. I thought I thought he was going to be bringing up Zerglings to reinforce, but well, it uh, doesn't look he, like he's going to be He doing did that. put a sunken in the back, though, just in case he did try to do a solid run by. You know how those hoosters like to do that. <laughs> yeah, if he would have got more Zerglings, he would have been able to hold his choke oh, pretty easily. Easy. Yeah, easy. But he really went risky with it and just now tried to rely on these sunken. Yeah, now he's wasting a lot of money on this. I mean, so we're like 3.30 in the game, and he's already taken out a majority of his choke here. Yeah, and there you see the Zerglings coming in, so now he's going to be able to hold off that choke. And it looks like Chi's going to be transferring into the Nexus. He's going to go plus one, stay with the four gateways, and I would assume he's going to transfer into some sort of a Reaver build or a uh, Templar drop build. Well, this is so neat, too, because this is Brood Wars, and it's going to be exciting. Yeah. I hope he pulls out some units we don't get to see too often, like maybe some DTs, hair stuff, all that. Yeah, all that. if you've watched some fastest commentary, it was probably on SC original, but this is actually on Brood War, so I'm going to have to keep trying to remember that. Zerb getting the good scout. He's yeah. going to be able to see Oh, a bit. and she's going for the triple next. It's going to... Oh, look, nice job there. Mike that probe get away. Get, oh, no, just he, get it. he did get it. Is he going to get another one here? It looks like Cheese going to no. Mike. No, oh, he wow. grabbed the wrong one. So one Zergwing taking out two probes there. Very successful with that Zergwing. But well, two different ones, two different. Yeah. But either way, it's all right. Yeah, Mimetic is still pretty tiny. He's only got the two hatcheries in his main and he's, his choke. and his, So he's got four hatchery total up against the triple nexus here soon and three gas. Yeah, looks like Cheese going to be going for a reaver build, I would assume. Yeah, Cheese is double his supply right now. Oh, yeah, actually going for a break. Oh, going for a little timing attack yeah. here, trying to catch the Zerg, transitioning from feeling safe. Yeah. And it looks like... And he might work. Well, I think Zerglings will come in and take this down. Yeah, Zerg going to hold that off, so... 
Oh, no. no. Whoa, those Sunkins fell really fast, a lot faster than I thought and they would. Now she's just target firing them. I mean, with like a, a couple of the Zillots, each kind of spread them out. No. Oh, Bordos yeah. has his choke. Definitely lost his choke here. And once you lose your choke with Zerg, extremely tough to beat a top player. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, extremely tough to beat a top player with Zerg, no matter what happens. But Is Mimetic ranked pretty high? Yeah, I think Mimetic In is like... I think he's decently ranked on Brutal. Yeah, War. that's what that's what I was thinking when we we're downloading the things. Downloading the things, the replays. Yeah. Wow, he let's see. I don't know, would you just go for some throw damage here if this was you? No, when there's only one sunken, I would go for the sunken. But if there was like three sunkens, then oh. I would just go for drones. <laughs> now she says differently. He says I'm gonna do both. If I gonna yeah. go for the sunkens, oh, I'll yeah. go for and, the And drones. he knows he's not gonna kill him, so he's just gonna go ahead and try to get some drones yeah. here. And Mimetic is so small, and it looks like Cheese is just going to be enormous soon here. Oh, he's going gas heavy too. That's yeah, just four scary. gas. You really need about three. You need about four gas to transition. And, and yeah, the two yeah, robotics. I'd say three. three. I yeah, he was trying two for a while, and I just saw how slow it is, and you're so waiting. Yeah, two on is gas. just not even close to enough. Oh, and Mimetic trying to save his choke here. Good That's kind of hot. Oh, look at the blocks. The drones are actually <laughs> helping out quite a bit, just taking space. And I mean, it looks like. Oh, he's going to try to fight. I think he's actually going to finish off the choke this time. I would if I was him. He already had the ground. He saw the surge. He saw that you put him behind. Take your advantage of this. Yeah, Cheese with really impressive Zealot micro so far this game. He's really utilizing those Zealots to their maximum capability. Nice target firing and nice movement. So really good micro so far here on the rush by Cheese and great harassment. The Overlord's right above the tech, so he knows Pernos. He knows what movements Pernos is on. Yeah, now he's going to be getting those photon cannons up. Maybe he's scared of a lurker drop or something, but he should assume the Zerg really hasn't had enough time or felt safe enough to get any sort of a tech build up. So. No, he, there's no hive, so there's definitely no Zerglings or anything coming in. Yeah, no lair. No yet, lair, or anything. yeah. So he definitely knows he's fine. Of course, you need the lair to get the upgrade for lurkers. Yep, and staying with the two robotics oh, facility. Two robotics Yeah, facility. observatory. So he, he is kind of scared yeah. for the for the lurker, is getting those observers out huh. just in case. I wonder if that's just the Zerg, like, the Zerg does, does some kind of hidden tech of a lair. I don't know. I can see that. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to get a hatch at a different base or something. Yeah, but. of course, but I mean, it'd be worth it. Yeah, almost. almost. Element of surprise. Oh, oh uh, uh, not, nice. look at that nice Zealot control. Cheese doing a good job here again with the Zealot Micro. Just really keeping his control. We got Cheese playing at a 177 APM, and we got Mimetic playing at 140, so... That's high for Protoss. Yeah, 177, pretty good APM there for Cheese. Protoss usually the slowest race for APM. Yeah, for me it is especially. Yeah, for me it is too. So plays into both of our cores. Oh, and he's going. Uh, Dragoon. Dragoon. Oh, he's got a thousand gas. So Cheese is really just massing gas here. Oh, he's. I like Cheese's position here. He's playing uber safe too, and he's playing with good aggression. The yeah. Dragoons are going to help will down the base. The Reavers will take care of any wings and even economy. And the Obs, of course, is uh, to protect yourself. Yeah, He'll against the lurker. Yeah. He's really been doing a good job of staying aggressive, just like I predicted he would at the start of the commentary. He's a really aggressive player, really fun to watch, that kind of style. You know, Some players like to turtle and sit in their base forever, and Chi's uh -oh. definitely not one of them. Uh oh, I just heard a shuttle. Yeah, I did hear a shuttle. some loadage. Oh, that's A couple gonna Reavers. Hurt. Let's see if Cheese <laughs> has the... Has Let's see. The Zerg dance. What do you think? <laughs> The sex reaver micro. We'll see. Have to see how much these uh, two Dude. reavers can do here. This is when the jaws music comes on. You know, dun, dun, yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, this is gonna be de oh, devastating. It is hard to click on the drones when when you know this layer is here blocking yeah. it. Oh, that was taken out. Oh, I can't see how many it killed because it's building scarabs. I hate it when it does that. Yeah, it should. Oh, uh, one kill here for this reaver. Go to reaver. I think that was just killing the sunk that it got the kill. <laughs> Fourteen kills with that reaver. That hurts. So yeah, he did get 14 drones with that first shot and and he's not even mining from this left side here so this game is pretty much definitely over I don't see oh, Mimetic coming back there's from this. no way he has nothing really to even stop that the shuttle yeah. gives that much more protection and now he's not even mining and and she's with the shuttle and the two reavers he's going to be able to avoid these hydroists from killing his reavers the hydroists are coming in one at a time you kind of need to do that in a sense I'd like to do what I like to call feeding just move one in front so the reaver targets that instead Cheese did carelessly lose one Reaver there, but I think he was paying attention to his macro because he knows he's already pretty safe in this game. He just want oh, and he did, oh, a, that's did why. another drop here on the on the right side. Zerg definitely will say GG oh, or leave the and game. And right, there's GG. the GG, so let's take it to the next game.